Now to campaign 2018, where one week after Election Day, four races needed recounts and three involved state House seats. One is a state Senate seat. One of those races has been decided. We'll have more on that in just a moment. But here are three key things to know about recounts. In Connecticut, they are automatically triggered when the candidates are separated by five percentage points. Recounts can also happen if the candidates are separated by fewer than 20 votes, but not more than 2,000 votes. The deadline to finish recounts is five business days after the election, which is tomorrow, because the Veterans Day holiday on Monday doesn't count. Tonight, though, we are learning, as we said, that one of those races has been decided, and it involves the State House Speaker. Channel 3 Chief Capitol reporter Susan Raff is joining us now at Berlin Town Hall with the details on that one. Susan? Denise, this was a very close race. In fact, we learned on election night that Joe Arasimowicz, the Democratic House Speaker, was only up by 37 votes, which is why they had to have a recount. Today, after many long hours of counting ballots in Southington and Berlin, Joe Arasimowicz is the winner. He is up by 50 votes. Recounts don't happen all that often, but when they do, it can take a while. At 9 o'clock Tuesday morning, the recount started in Southington and in Berlin to call the race for state representative between Democrat Joe Arasimowicz and Republican Mike Gagliardi. We're simply trying to, you know, get this out. There are a lot of anxious people to, that want the results, and we're just trying to make sure that we give accurate results and uh, complete results of, of the election. All of the ballots cast at polling places in District 30 had to be recounted, along with absentee ballots. In Southington, there were a few problems with some of the absentee ballots that were filled out incorrectly. The district is considered a red stronghold. In this election, Republican gubernatorial candidate Bob Stefanowski won, along with Matt Corey, the GOP who challenged and lost to Senator Chris Murphy. Last Friday, Arasimowicz still expected to win. If you historically look back at the recounts over the past 10 years, th they don't move much. House Speaker Arasimowicz didn't win by a lot, but enough to prevent Democrats from losing a high-profile race. The election gave Democrats a strong majority in both chambers. Southington's Republican Registrar of Voters has overseen a few recounts in his 48-year career. They should absolutely not lose faith in it because Connecticut's got probably the most rigid laws around now. In regards to today's recount, House Speaker Arasimowicz said the recount was done in a very thorough and professional way and that he looks forward to continuing to work hard for his constituents. We are still waiting for a response and comment from Republican Mike Gagliardi. We are live in Berlin, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.